scarier stuff than that. Maybe we'll decide to get buried here. Just a bit time. When you have to shoot, shoot, don't talk. Good night to the bad guy. Now let's all get drunk and play ping pong. Hey, hey, Classic Joey Mac here with your 2010 baseball predictions. How about that? It is that time. Last year, uh, besides the sexiest Halloween costume video, uh, my predictions for 2009 baseball um, playoffs was uh, the highest uh, hits I've ever had. So I'm, uh, I am taking everyone's advice and doing it earlier in the year. I, I meant to do it actually before the season started, but I, with moving into the new house, it was just impossible. So I do apologize. I know that you know we're here in the uh, mid to end of uh, April. Um, so I will. Uh, I just want to get on the record early. That way, no one can say, "Oh, you know, you didn't have to do much." Let's face it. You know, you can say whatever you want about my prediction last year. I'm not going to try to defend it. I picked the Angels to win. They didn't win. I did pick the Phillies to get into the World Series and lose. So I got it half right. As much as it pained me to see my Phillies lose, you know, it is what it is. But. Um, but I am going strong this year. You know, it's it's early enough where I don't think anyone has a clue, you know, where anyone's going to be except for a few teams, I suppose. But uh, I'm going to go out of limb, and I'm actually going to give you my uh, total wins for my division leaders and then who I think is going to win in the playoffs and World Series. And uh, that way it, it, should be even, uh, it should be even more enjoyable when you guys laugh at me, you know, for, for what, eight months? Let's start over. Let's start in the National League because I'm a National League guy. And um, let's start right here in the National League East. Um, I have not jumped onto the Braves bandwagon. Um, Bobby Cox is done after this year. Maybe even Chipper Jones. I know they got this, you know, Hayward kid and all that stuff. And everyone's like, ooh, let's jump on, let's jump on the Braves. It's not that I don't like the Braves. I just don't think that they're. This is not the year that they start competing for the NL East. It's just not happening. Um, instead, I go with my Phillies, and I give them uh, 92 wins for the uh, for the total, you know, of uh, of winning the National League East. Um, I think 92 wins is exactly uh, what it is going to take to win the division. Um, I think teams that we thought were going to be great will kind of taper off. I don't think I don't see the Mets doing much. Um, I don't see the Braves doing much. I know I could see them making like this push like in July and then they just fall apart. Um, I think the Marlins are going to get hot. That's a team I don't trust at all. Um, I like them to make uh, make a decent push towards us um, here in Philadelphia, but I don't, I don't think it lasts. Um, NL Central, I give the St. Louis Cardinals the, uh, the win on that as well. I give them 90 wins total. I, don't, I just don't see anyone challenging in that uh, division. Uh, Pirates suck. Reds suck. Um, no offense to those guys. Um, it's just not that good. Um, Chicago is... Not a good team. <laughs> that team is so like that. That franchise like is kind of pathetic. Um, I can't say much. Like until we started winning recently, we weren't that great either. But the only team that looks like they even have a chance might be the Brewers. But even them, I, those and them and the Astros don't. They don't scare me as far as. So I think the the Cards win it again with ninety wins. Like I said, NL West, which. It's. I guess every couple of years it becomes the hottest topic of who's going to win the National League West. You know, I remember a couple of years ago we're like, oh my God, you know, San Diego and all this stuff. 
Well, this year I give Colorado the nod, and I give them 91 wins. Um, I know that it's not a sexy pick, not as sexy as uh, Saint, San Francisco. Uh, you know, San Francisco, I, they don't have enough offense for me to feel like they sustain, and it's really hard for me to believe that Barry Zito is all of a sudden going to have this great year uh, this year. I, hey, if it happens, it happens. Um, of the three divisions, I guess I wouldn't be so shocked if Colorado didn't turn out for me. But I'm giving them 91 wins, and I'm saying they're going to move on. Wild card, I'm saying it's going to be a tight race between San Francisco and the Marlins, and I'm giving the Marlins the edge at 88 wins. Um, so that's your National League. Um, Jesus, I had to move up here. Um, so that's your National League. That's how that's going to look. So Phillies, to recap, Phillies 92 wins, St. Louis 90 wins, Colorado 91, and Florida 88. Your American League, uh, we'll start with the AL East, which is, you know, where everything gets dominated. I like Tampa Bay. I like Tampa Bay. I'm going to give them 99 wins. And I like them to win the division. I actually, uh, I didn't agree with the Yankees getting Vasquez. Um, I didn't like some of the moves that the Yankees made. And so I all of a sudden, I'm not saying that they will make the playoffs. Because in my, you'll see, they are actually my wild card team as well. Um, and I'm giving them 98 wins. I think that it's a very tight race between Tampa Bay and the Yankees. I think Boston's irrelevant at this point. Uh, they're overhyped just because they're Boston. No offense to the Boston fans. You guys are great, but um, I just don't, I don't see it this year. And I don't see anyone else in that division challenging. AL Central, I really wish there was a better team in that division. I feel bad because it's such a non-division, I think. I'm going to take Minnesota. I, I don't care if their closer's out or not. They're just... They're just better than those other teams, you know. The only team I could see challenging would be the Tigers. I never liked Chicago. All these people got on the, the White Sox bandwagon. I never liked them. So I give Minnesota 88 wins, and we call that them the AL Central champs. Um, AL West, I feel like this is my bandwagon pick. I'm going to go Seattle with 93 wins. And I kind of hate myself for it because... I don't like anyone coming out of that division. Last year, I liked the top, uh, the Rangers late. I don't like them this year. I don't like them to win. And, um, yeah, I, I just don't see that happening. Um, I don't see the Angels. I think the Angels will challenge. I don't like Oakland at all. I know they're kind of leading right now. I see Seattle with 93 wins. Wild card team, as I said, Yankees with 98 wins. I think... I would not be shocked if Tampa Bay and the Yankees fluctuated and I had that wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if the Yankees did win the NL East or the AL East and Tampa Bay won the wild card. I'm predicting that Tampa Bay has, you know, the best record in baseball when it's all said and done. I am at seven minutes and forty seconds right now. I'm actually gonna turn this off. I'm gonna make another video with my playoff prediction pick. So these are my division winners and the totals and um, to recap for the American League. Tampa Bay with 99 wins, AL East. Minnesota, 88 wins in your AL Central. Seattle, 93 wins in your AL West. Wild card team, 98 wins, and that's the Yankees. So uh, check out the other video that will have my playoff predictions if you are intrigued.